As is often the case with the Cornell Big Red men's basketball team, tonight was a tale of two halves. In the first half, the Cornell Big Red came out shooting very cold from the field, only 33% overall. I just thought we were very snappy. each other out defensively, um, and we did a great job in the first half. Part of that was their good defense, but uh, part of that was us just being stagnant in the first half. We had them on their heels in the first half, but uh, you know, against a good team like Cornell, if you let up just for one possession, they're going to capitalize. And after the break, Cornell did just that, shooting better than 65% from the field and turning a five-point halftime deficit into a 12-point victory. As a team, you know, we were less intense in the second half. We got the ball moving, you know, we started playing a little quicker, making quicker decisions, and the blood is some easy baskets for us. The thing that I'm, I'm most uh, irritated about is the fact that we didn't defend in the second half. We just had to adjust and uh, just move the ball and just make quicker decisions, and I think that's what we did. I think we lose your really get the ball and then try it and find the ball. makes us a much better basketball. I think Cornell is very, very talented team and they're very well coached and I thought they showed a little more poise in the second half of the game and champions do that and uh, they deserve to win the game and uh, we, gotta, we gotta go into practice and, and get ready to go. While starting point guard and reigning Ivy League player of the year Lewis Dale filled up the stat sheet with 19 points, 5 rebounds and 3 assists, reserve point guard Christian Blesky also played a key role in the tournament. Basket for Chris Wondowski. Uh, we stepped in there, especially in the second half, made a lot of big plays for us. Uh, you know, I mean, hit a three in the corner, got on the floor on a loose ball, got fouled. Uh, you know, just him coming in as a freshman, you know, his first lady of the game, uh, it's, it's great to see the type of poise he showed tonight. There's a big lift off the bench, you know. Uh, a couple of us weren't hitting shots, he came in and, and made some great plays for us tonight. Really, really propelled us to get that lead in the second half. With center Jeff Foote and forward Adam Wire in foul trouble for much of the game, Alex Tyler was looked upon to pick up the slack in the Big Reds' front court. I think Alex was a physical presence the whole game. He, I thought he came up with big plays when we needed him. And he's been up and down. I, I think he's probably a little frustrated with his play. But over the last week, I thought he had a great week of practice and making a lot of uh, shots in the 15 foot range, which we really didn't do. And it's hard to get mad at the game at this point. In addition to being a tale of two halves, Cornell also played with extreme balance here at Columbia. Five players recorded at least five rebounds and four players scored in double digits. Look for this balance to be a key as Cornell continues with their Ivy League schedule, hosting Columbia next Saturday at Newman Arena. Reporting here from Columbia University in New York City, New York. I'm Sam Alenikoff, Slope TV.